Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Uh, this is week 17 in the Collage Weekly Planner uh, put on by Marguerite Miller. So I'd love to have you stick around um, for it. It's going to be a fun one and I've taken a little bit of um, I don't have a lot of elements this week. I think it's fairly simple, but I've taken a little bit from a couple different magazines. So I'm going to move straight forward with this today. Um, Marguerite has asked us to incorporate something ornate, a bottle or glass, an herb or other fragrant plant, a line from a poem or song, a piece of ribbon, and then the bonus is a label. I'm not going to do the bonus. I'm just going to stick with the meat and potatoes. So each week, I don't know, I feel like my camera gets higher and higher and higher. Uh, either that or my book is getting larger and larger. So I'm not sure what it is, which, which end I'm at. Well, this week I decided that I needed to start using some of my, um, oh gosh, my Daphne's Diary. I had to turn around and take a look. My Daphne's Diary pages. <clears throat> and I thought this was really pretty, this page here. Um, this is all about lavender. And as we know, lavender is just a beautiful, beautiful plant. And it smells so nice. And actually, today I was out gardening, getting my flower beds prepped. And uh, the lavender that I have had over the many years, it, it is gone. Um, the harsh winters, it will survive maybe five or six years, but then after that, it takes a beating. Um, so I may have to get myself some new lavender. But it looks like in this page, uh, they're making lavender soap. And then, show, you know, it tells about the cold process to make it. And then this must be up here infused as well um do you know that you can add some eyeshadow to mix to to create a nice pastel colored soap so maybe that is the coloring for the soap um, but i'm going to use this page here is my background page and i'm going to be gluing this on this week i'm going to as you know i have a love hate relationship with this these glue sticks but I think this week I'm going to use this for the backdrop and the reason I have a love-hate relationship if you are new to my channel with the glue sticks is that um I can't ever get them to stick really well, and I think it crinkles my crinkles my pages. And I don't like that wavy look. I don't like the wavy look. So this is my my herb or other fragrant plant right there that's a pretty page that would be pretty just all unto itself so something ornate um i took this page out of my rob report and these here i think these are earrings uh, let's see, Claude Lelay necklace and bracelet, Barbara Chase room. Yeah, earrings. These are earrings. Aren't they wild? And they are pretty ornate. So I thought I would use these butterfly earrings. And I think you probably know where I'm going with this. And we will save this for possibly another collage. And I'm not going to be using my short scissors because I can't get nice long strokes. So that's why I use my large 
Clean Earth Stainless Steel Scissors by Acme. Um, I like to get the long, like a figure skater. I like to get those long strokes in. And you just can't do that with little scissors. So I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I'm actually making this on the Friday, Friday night, prior to my Sunday night, early Monday morning posting. Um, it was a beautiful day today, and yesterday and today, I did spend um, two beautiful afternoons outside getting my gardens prepped getting the old cat mint, uh, not cat nip. There's a difference. There's cat nip and there's cat mint. And I have cat mint in my garden and it is just beautiful. Um, and it gets big, big, big and bushy. And then halfway through the summer, you have to cut it back because it gets so big and it starts to flop over. And then you get all this new growth again for the second half of the summer. So I um, I didn't cut it back last fall. I thought I'd be a smarty pants and leave it. And I said, oh, it'll give me something to do in the spring. You know, get out. And it was so nice. I was actually able to put my bathing suit top on, get a little sun on my back. I'm on my lawn in a bathing suit top as well. And then that way, my back can get nice and tanned. And I don't have to worry about rolling over, flipping over when I'm out laying by my pool. I can just lay on my back all day long because my, my back <clears throat> is already nice and brown. Um, and if I start early enough, I don't burn. I very rarely burn. And I don't worship the sun like I used to when I was younger, you know, with the baby oil and iodine and the the, the metal thing you used to hold under your, the reflector. That's when I was like 15 years old. I Baby oil and iodine for that extra, extra tan. Um, but I thought I'd be a smarty pants and I said, oh, I'm not going to cut these down this fall. I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to be in the craft room. I'll do it in the spring. Well, that was a mistake because um, all of the dust and the winter, the winter goodness settles in there and then it gets so dry. I mean, if you know what lavender looks like when it gets dry, well, this cat mint is, it's probably a good foot and a half that lays it kind of splays from the center and it lays out and it's a good foot and a half long and it gets really dry and you can cut it, but I just kind of, you know, twist the things comes right, but it's just plumes and plumes and plumes of dust and winter mess that comes up. I should have worn a mask. So I'm really stuffed up. Um, so I've been popping the Zyrtec and, I'm blowing my nose. So next year, next or this fall, I'm going to make sure I cut everything down. So all I have to do is rake in the spring. Um, okay, so here are my, here are my fancy schmancy ornate earrings. Um, and I think what I'm going to do, I don't know, I may rip and tear some paper and have it come across here. I think I just want to see how this is going to be here. Um, I want the lavender to show on the bottom. I don't necessarily know if I want this to show here. So we have the two wings and this is my bottle. It is a bottle of wine. And this is going to be the body of the butterfly. 
I thought that would be quite appropriate. And there is no story this week. I just have my song lyric, which I think is very in tune, no pun intended, with the image. But I've been doing, in between my videos, I've been doing a ton of scrapbooking. And I am so enjoying it. Um, I think we're going to put that just like that. But I'm going to want to add, I think I'm going to add some book pages or something a little bit behind this to collage it up a little bit more because I think the background is just a little too busy. So let me go grab some papers and I'll be right back. So I grabbed some book pages. I have my full book here. So I'm just going to take what I need. And uh, I'm just going to do a little ripping and tearing and just to add a little something more to this. All right, so I'm not going to do any... Uh, I want to say highlighting, not highlighting, um, distressing on this because the background paper is so light, um, light and pretty. And I'm just getting my, getting it inked up over here off camera because that's where I have my, that's where I have my paper to ink this up with. So we'll just add a little bit here and there. Help if I use the right end to get this inked. Oh, so let's see. I guess I could like tell you what my plans are for the weekend if I had any <laughs> I'm just kind of winging it I was supposed to go to a new library with my weaving girlfriend and um, I'm just looking for my scissors sorry here we go um, And we were going to go Saturday, and I got a call from her today, actually a text from her today, or, yeah, because it's Friday, <laughs> and she said she really wanted to, we're supposed to get rain on Sunday, and she really wanted to get a lot of yard work done um, and asked if we could go the following weekend so I told her sure I didn't have a I didn't have a problem with that it's not like I have a big social calendar although when I start a big project I just I get really I get obsessed with it and um, like I said, with the scrapbooking, I am just so obsessed with, I've got all of the, all of my year 2000 photos um, all organized and my duplicates, they're all together. I pulled papers and everything is with paper and um, that's taken me almost a week to do that and I'm I'm definitely ready to 
start scrapping them and adding all the embellishments and I'm using my Cricut machine so it's it's just something fun and different and that's all I want to do my poor husband <laughs> we were having coffee this morning and he says well because he takes Fridays off from work he has for a long time I'll tell you that story because it's funny see I do have a story tonight I just don't have a I don't have a collage story for you. Um, but he says to me this morning, we're having coffee, and he's like, so what are you doing today? Because his hip bothers him. He's getting a second opinion. I've told you about that, yada, yada, yada. So he'll go in our, we have a really nice home gym, and he'll go in the gym, and he'll stretch for like three hours. But he's also talking on the phone and doing business. He can't fool me. Um, and then he says, oh, I've got, a, I had a great workout today. I had a great workout. I'm like, you stretched. You, you went on your bike. That's not working out. I guess it is for him. Um, so he says, what are you going to do today? And I just kind of looked at him over my glasses and, uh, he says, oh, are you going into the great room of isolation? I said, yes, I'm going to my craft room, <laughs> but I didn't. I ended up ironing and, um, then I ended up going out and gardening. Now I'm in my craft room. But he calls it the great room of isolation. All right, so there is our butterfly. I think that looks good. And I can always add a little bit to that after if I want to add more. If I want to add more. collage book pages or I should say book pages they aren't collaged are they so what was I gonna I was gonna tell you the story say I've got no, f my train of thought has definitely left the station. I was going to tell you a story, and I can't remember what I was going to tell you. What was I going to tell you? I know we were talking about him exercising in my craft room. Isn't that awful? I have fallen so many times and I've hit my head. I swear I have the beginning stages of dementia. I've had, I had one really bad concussion a couple years ago. That was where I fell in my craft room and I hiked the next day. I went up into the Adirondacks, the high peaks, and I hiked. Because I thought, oh, there's nothing wrong with me. I feel good. Until I did that high peak and I came home and Sunday I was, I was cross-eyed with a headache. And my eye doctor says, you better get to the emergency room. I called him. At, I called. I actually texted him. We're, we're friends. And he goes, sweetie, you better get to the emergency room. He goes, I think you got a concussion. So sometimes I can remember things and sometimes I can't. All right, so there is our lovely butterfly, which I really like. And I might just put a little bit more, a little bit more paper here just to, just to balance this out a little bit. little piece here see and I keep putting this book away that I need to use
I can hear my husband laughing. He's he tapes the voice. I don't know why he's, he's usually tearing up during it. I'll go downstairs and he'll be sitting there and the tears will be rolling down in his face. <laughs> like I thought this was a music show. I said, why are you crying? And he's like, because the stories are just they're just amazing. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> you crack me up. <laughs> yeah. Not me. I, I can't. I can't. I just can't do it. So <laughs> I let him watch the voice in peace. He doesn't wanna he doesn't want to listen to me. I narrate and tell stories through the whole show. He doesn't like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. But it puts him in a good mood. He has, he has stressful days at work. Owning your own company <laughs> make you go bonkers. Okay, all right. We've got that done. Oh, it's getting hot in here. Okay, so something ornate. We have our glass or bottle. See how my pages crease with that glue? That's why I don't like it. Um, a piece of ribbon. So I'm going to bag this. I just don't like this. Ooh, -hoo. can't like it. This is my ribbon. And I'm either, I thought I would put this, I thought this would be pretty if I snipped a little piece of this or just ran it on the bottom of the page. But I'll put that, where can we put that? Where dust we put that? Not really. I could put I could put that on the bottom. I could put a little piece on the bottom of the this here, but I don't really want to do that. I know it's missing over here because that was at the bottom of the page. I think maybe I'll put that right there on the bottom of that. That'll be a little different. Oh, and it looks like I need a pin because this looks like this is clogged now. hear our phone ringing. I can't imagine. It's probably spam. It's still ringing. I hope my husband gets it. Unless it's spam. Unless it's spam. I'm sorry, I'm sniff, sniffling. I'm sniffling. I definitely have the sniffles from being outside, but. See, I still can't remember what I was going to tell you. Isn't that terrible? I'll remember it tonight, like at 11 o'clock. I'll remember it probably tonight at 11. News at 11. <laughs> Breaking news. Barbara remembers what she wanted to tell everybody about. All right, so there's my little piece of ribbon at the bottom of the body there. That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. 
And then my verse is from Elton John. And I'm going to get this glued down and then we'll, we'll decorate it up. I just have to decide where. You know this song, Butterflies Are Free to Fly. Maybe I should put it down here. Let's see, where's the best place to put this? Butterflies are free to fly. I think that's my husband at the door. I think he doesn't know. Yes, honey, I'm recording. I'll tell her to call later. Tell me, tell her to call back later. Bye. Okay. So, obviously, that phone wasn't a spam. It was for me. And I'm not, I'm not taking any calls right now. I've got more important things to do. Okay, so this is Elton John's Butterflies Are Free to Fly. He opens the door so cautiously. I should throw a shoe at him. Throw my, throw my flip-flop at him. <laughs> we have fun. Sometimes we drive each other nuts after being married for so many years. Let's see, how many years have we been married? Um, I think it's going to be 40 years. In 24, that's a long time to be with one person. <laughs> that's what I tell them all the time. Like 40 years is a long, long time. A lot of making up going on in those 40 years. No, <laughs> we get along really good. But, oh no, when we argue and fight, yeah, watch out. But that's very rare. That's very rare. Very, 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 very rare. Okay, all right. So the paper studio, I'm going to highlight this. So butterflies are free to fly. Fly away, hi away, bye-bye. I can't sing, so I'm not going to even try I can hum but I can't sing my son Michael is the singer he could have been a professional singer but he is so shy but he has got a killer voice. And I think I'll go around the body here. Just to make this stand out a little bit. There, and then I think I will get my, let's see, I'm going to get my white, and I think I'll go around the wings. Let's try that. Let's try this. We'll go around these wings a little bit. I don't like this pen. I think I have another white one. Yeah, I have this uniball that I think is much better. And we'll just go around this a little bit. I don't know if it will make a difference, but... I know you're probably thinking, why white on white? Why isn't she using the... the dark black but I don't want to do that I just want to add a little bit of a 
a little bit of this around that. Does that make sense? A little bit of this around that. Okay. All right. So that is this week's collage, my friends. Yeah, I don't mind that. I think that white looks really cute on there. It makes it stand out. I think that's cute. So we have something ornate, which is the earrings. We have a bottle of glass, which is the bottle of wine, which makes up the body. An herb or fragrant plant is our lavender in the background. A line from a poem or song is from Elton John, Butterflies are free to fly, fly away, hi away, bye-bye. And a piece of ribbon, which is the little ornate ribbon on the bottom of the butterfly's body. So that is it, my friends. Um, I'm so happy you joined in with me on this page. I think it's a really cute, springy page. Um, it's colorful, something a little different. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And um, if you're new to collaging, I'd love to have you go back and look at some of my other collaged um, pieces from Marguerite Miller. They're all fun. They're just all different, which I just love. So a big shout out and thank you to Marguerite for all of her weekly prompts. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. And I just can't praise you enough. So that's it. Give me a thumbs up if you like this, and I will see you next week in week 18. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.